so uh, today we are going to perform open as a split trigger so under split trigger we are using positive feedback so that positive feedback nothing but we are connecting a feedback resistor between output terminal and uh, non inverting terminal <coughs> so here uh, for inverting terminal we are giving ac signal having magnitude 10 volt peak to peak and the frequency is 1 kilohertz it is connected through resistor 300 ohm that's why it is uh, this Smith, uh, trigger is called as inverting Smith trigger. Whereas uh, the feedback resistor is connected between output and non-inverting terminal. That's why we can say that Smith trigger using positive feedback. Now here at this junction there will be threshold voltage. So you can measure the upper threshold voltage nothing but uh, 300 ohm resistor divided by 300 ohm resistor plus 47 that is uh, feedback resistor into plus V set. So this is nothing but upper threshold voltage. Whereas lower threshold voltage you can calculate 300 divided by 300 plus 47 into 10 raised to 3 because it is in kilo ohm into minus V set. So, uh, at every time uh, when we are applying input signal, depending on this uh, threshold voltage, the output will be changed. So, this is our circuit. Now, we are going to build the circuit on breadboard. So, this is our breadboard. IC741 is already inserted. Pin number 2. So, pin number 2, we have to connect input signal through resistor 300 ohm. So, pin number 2, 300 ohm, one leg is inserted. So, it is vertically connected and this terminal is for input signal which is connected through function generator. So, this is function generator. You have to connect positive terminal and negative terminal should be connected to ground. So we are taking one uh, wire, suppose we are considering this ground wire, so it is connected to ground. Now, for uh, non-inverting terminal you have to connect feedback. So 47 kilo ohm we are going to connect between terminal 3 and 6, between ter terminal 3 and 6. 6 so this is 47 kilo ohm resistor now 300 ohm resistor is connected to between terminal 3 and ground so this is ground you can directly insert like this or you can connect with the help of another wire this line we are treated as ground now pin number 4 is connected to minus VEE -E. Pin number 7 is connected to plus VCC. So we are directly, we are going to connect on platform. So this is our platform. Plus 12 is already set here with the help of multimeter. Minus 12 is set at uh, this terminal with the help of multimeter. So plus 12 is connected to pin number 7. Minus 12 is connected to pin number 4. Then ground is connected to ground line. Now for observing input as well as output connect the CRO. So channel 1 we are connecting to input terminal. So don't forget to connect ground of CRO probes. Channel 2 is connected to So channel 1 we are uh, considering as a input, channel 2 we are considering as a output. So for pin number 6 we have to connect the output. Pin number 6 we have to connect the output. So one ground wire is required for connecting the probe. Ok, 
ओके सो आवर सर्किट इज रेडी नाउ स्विच ऑन द सप्लाई सो फ्रीक्वेंसी इज सेट टू वन किलो हर्ट्स इट इज साइन वेव यू हैव टू चेक वेदर इट इज टेन होल्ड पिक टू पिक जस्ट गो टू सी आर ओ नाउ यू कैन सेट द इनपुट वेव फॉर्म सो दिस इज इनपुट वेव फॉर्म दिस इज आउटपुट वेव फॉर्म सो हियर इनपुट वेव फॉर्म देर आर टू डिविजन इन टू चैनल वन सो दिस इज टेन होल्ड पिक टू पिक फ्रीक्वेंसी इज वन किलो वर्ड्स एंड मेजर द आउटपुट सो पिक टू पिक इन टू चैनल टू सो दिस विल बी आउटपुट वोल्टेज एंड फॉर टी ऑन मेजर द हॉरिजोटल लाइन्स इन टू टाइम बेस फॉर टी ऑफ बॉटम हॉरिजोटल लाइन इन टू टाइम बेस सो दिस इज युअर ओपैम एज अ स्मिथ ट्रिगर थैंक यू